Disclaimer for this video, I'm recording this kind of late at night, it's about 2 in the morning, so that might be kind of why I'm acting a little bit weird and the tutorial might not be the best. Don't worry, I'm not captured by ISIS and I'm not being forced to say anything. Now that that's passed, let's get straight into the tutorial. Hello everybody, it's Cookie here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get lots of caps, ammo, stim packs, chems, radex, a really good weapon, as well as some free power armor. This isn't really necessary for the tutorial, but right now I'm going to be showing you how to get at least 500,000 caps in about 10 minutes. It does use a glitch, which hasn't been patched since the game came out, which was last November in 2015, so I don't think it's going to be patched anytime soon. To do this caps glitch, you're going to need at least 3,000 caps, as well as two perks. These perks consist of cap collector, and local leader. Both of them have to be level 2. What you're going to want to do is place down an armor emporium and proceed to click the buttons, at least on PlayStation, square and circle, right after one another. You're going to want to tap square and then hold circle. It's important that you do hold circle because if you let go of circle, it messes up the glitch. So you quickly tap square and then hold circle. You're going to come up with this menu and only this menu when you do it. You're going to, while you're holding circle, press X to scrap the armor emporium. And then you can let go of circle and you'll come up with this menu and it will say, store the armor emporium. So you just scrapped it for the 1500 caps as well as stored it for free. And you can repeatedly do this over and over again. Once you get the groove, you can get caps really, really fast. If you wanna get caps legit, then what you're gonna wanna do is head to Diamond City, which is southeast from Vault 111. Once you get to the Diamond City market, you're gonna find someone named Arturo. He isn't the only person you can do this bartering tip with, but I just like to do him with him because he's the easiest person to access and he's there pretty much all the time. What you're going to want to do is once you have an excess of ammo that you don't use, let's say 38 rounds, since I have a lot of that but I don't use any of it, and you want 45 rounds from him but they are kind of expensive, you buy all the 45 rounds you can and then sell him back the 38 rounds so you can make money off of buying ammo from Arturo. You can do this with anything, once you get the hang of it, you basically buy things you want and get caps for it. It's an easy way to get lots of caps, it's kind of slow, but it's not a glitch so it's much better to do. Let's say you've been playing the game for quite some time now, let's say maybe 10 hours, I don't know, whatever time it takes you to get settled into the game. You're looking for a new weapon, you've got some rounds, you've got some ammo, whatever you want. Once you get around 2,800 caps, depending on your charisma level, you can head to some place called Vault 81, which is just west of Diamond City. Once you first get to Vault 81, the door is actually going to be closed. You're going to be talking to the overseer of Vault 81. And if your charisma level is high enough, or if you're lucky enough, you can just talk yourself in. But if you fail that persuasion, you're going to need at least three fusion cores to get in, which I'm going to show some locations on the screen right now where you can get some fusion cores. You get one right off the bat in the Museum of Freedom, which is a campaign mission at the beginning of the game. In Vault 81, there is someone named Alexis Combs, which sells you a weapon called the Overseer Guardian. I've already purchased this weapon, so she doesn't have it for me. Depending on your charisma level, it can cost anywhere from 2,000 caps to 3,000 caps. Just follow my tutorial from before on how to get easy caps, as well as just playing the game, you'll have enough caps in no time, and you can get yourself a beast weapon. If you get to Alexis Combs and you don't have quite enough caps at the time, I do have a method for you to get enough caps without actually leaving Vault 81. I don't really recommend it, but you can quick save right behind someone while you're sneaking, make sure you're hidden when you quick save, and then you can pickpocket them for their caps repeatedly over and over again, going to random people inside of the vault, and eventually, eventually, you'll have enough caps to purchase the Overseer if you didn't when you first got there. The next thing I want to show you is how to get lots of stim packs pretty easily, as well as blood packs, which help make stim packs. You're going to want to head to some place called Greater Mass Blood Clinic, which is directly south from Vault 111. Once there, you're going to have to run around and try to find a way to get into the basement. I'm not going to show you directly because it does kind of ruin some immersion for the game. Once you get into the basement, you can run around here, find some supplies, you can find some chems. But the main thing you want to do is find the button in the basement which opens one door. Blood packs, combined with steel and antiseptic, are used to make stim packs at chemistry stations. If you want to farm this area, you're going to have to go to somewhere where you can sleep or wait. Sleep or wait for about 3-5 to five days, and then come back and you can farm this place for more blood packs. And then in no time, you can have upwards of 1,000 stim packs. If you're just starting off the game and you don't really know what to put some of your skill points into, I recommend starting off with toughness because it's just always fun to have extra damage resistance. Rifleman if you're using rifles, obviously. Lone Wanderer if you're going to be following Dogmeek as your companion. Fortune Finder and Scrounger are always good perks in case you just want to find more bottle caps and ammo in containers. Medic is an essential perk because it helps with stim packs, healing more, as well as rat right away, getting rid of more rats. 
Chem resistant and chemist are perfect if you're going to be using a lot of chems. And last but not least, if you want free T60 power armor, which is really good power armor in the beginning of the game, please side with the Brotherhood of Steel. They're a great faction for the beginning of the game, you get lots of experience as well as some really good weapons if you don't feel like getting the Overseer. Not too far into their campaign, about halfway through, you eventually meet the Pridwin, not giving off too much spoilers, but you'll find something called the Pridwin. Once you're there, uh, you will be promoted and you will get yourself some T60 power armor. Now that you are overpowered in Fallout in the beginning of the game, and you've got plenty of stim packs, plenty of caps, ammo, really good weapons, and power armor, you're ready for the Commonwealth. If you guys want to see more tutorials, not necessarily just for Fallout, but if you want to see more tutorials for anything, as well as just some of my commentary videos since I don't do tutorials all the time, please leave a like and let me know in the comments. I am recording this kind of late at night, which is why I might have been a little bit weird, it doesn't really matter, I'm not captured by ISIS, don't worry. But anyways, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.